until that day when all are one. To me, my loyal Decepticons. Hello there, guys, and welcome to another episode of Reviewing Transformers, the first one in ten months. <laughs> I know, I bet all of you thought it was over, and we're here on a nice Christmas morning. And here we have Transformers Armada Cyclonus. Now, if you don't know who Cyclonus is in Armada, he's probably my third favorite Transformer. He is very different from the original G1 Cyclonus. This Cyclonus is absolutely insane. He cackles in some scenes when he's supposed to be fighting. He actually just flies aimlessly into the sky. Whenever he gets his own minicon, it's almost as if he's found the meaning of life. And so essentially, this guy you do not want to mess with. He's got guns attached to his... Uh, he's got two guns attached to his arm... And he has a blade that can pretty much slice through anything. And, of course, his Minicon Crumple Zone. However, the first Minicon he got was not Crumple Zone. The name escapes me right now, but it was some sort of uh, drill Minicon that attached to the bottom of the uh, cockpit of the helicopter. So, that is the front with his card and his Minicon and the instructions and all that good stuff. Let's see what is on the back. Okay, English is in the middle. The Autobot and Decepticon robots battle for control on their home planet Cybertron. A signal reaches them from another world revealing... Huh. That's weird. It's not a description of Cyclonus. It's a description of the Armada show. Huh, that's odd. Well, as you can see here, you have the robot mode, the vehicle mode, and the Minicon in the same modes. So obviously, he's Decepticon. Uh, apparently, he's number three. On the form, on the, on the, uh, uh, class, on the, uh, not, I wouldn't exactly, exactly say class, but on the Transformer scale, he's advanced, but he's not expert. Each Minicon figure can attach to a larger Transformer, Transformer Armada figure to unlock action features. Well, yeah, why not say something about Cyclonus this time? Do they even say anything about him? No, I don't think they do. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to open this bad boy up, and I'm going to give you all my verdict. Well, I've taken him out of the box, obviously, and I am here right now to give you all my uh, verdict on this Transformer. And this is an interesting Cyclonus. I mean, technically, I guess you could say that, on the whole, as a Transformer, it doesn't exactly work but it still has some good things about it. For starters, the color work is nicely done. I mean, very nicely done. Not only is this kind of grayish blue, this dark purple, and this dark midnight blue and white and orange a good combination, but it's very, very show accurate, and there's even two small pieces of customization. I don't know what these parts are, but you can take these two pieces from the uh, back, the rudder of the helicopter, and you can actually fold them down. And so you can give you so in some weird way you can make the helicopter seem a little bit bigger by doing it. That's just how I view, I see it from my point of view. So we put these back up. Also for the uh, guns. Let's see, the arm gun, so to speak, of Cyclonus. You could put them like this, which is what they're like in the show, where they have these plug-in missiles that go in. But, however, on one downside, you can see his fists. See, there's a fist, and there's a fist. So you can have him look cooler, however his fist will be sho showing, or you can make these shorter and hide them better by doing this. Ugh. This is how it was packaged, as you can see. Like that. Yes, he seems shorter and less intimidating, but you know what? It's still customization, and either way in the end, kind of either way in the end, it works. You also have the feet. 
which are very sensitive, but cleverly his heels make two more guns on the bottom. And it is hard sometimes if you're handling him that they'll go up. Sometimes they'll go down. And there you go. There's not really a whole lot of undercarriage junk, as you can see here, which is a problem many Transformer Armada figure, um, many Transformers figures had. Not exactly with Armada, but some Armada figures had undercarriage junk. And you also have a trigger here in which it makes the propeller spin. Now get ready for either a pleasant or ungodly noise. Whoops. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I could do this all day. Pretty simple gimmick, and if you're actually fast enough, you can make it so that you can actually have his uh, propeller spin constantly. Like what I did. So, pretty gimmick, but from another reviewer who's reviewed this Armada figure, cats hate this noise. So if you have a cat, be aware with this, uh, this toy. So that's basically, um, psych that's basically Cyclonus. It's hard, it's fairly easy to get his legs misplaced or his guns or his turrets misplaced, and some of the and sometimes the arms can be a little bit confusing. I don't know in all honesty why they package them like this, but at least he has some customization and his colors are great. Another good thing is that you can pull up the head, which is a which could have been a lazy move by the makers of this toy but you can't pull it up until it's transformed. Cripple Zone is a simple, small little tank, and it's very easy. Again, colors are great, and it matches perfectly with Cyclonus's color style here, so you, you just know this guy is Cyclonus's Minicon. Again, he, like Minicons, let's see if I can get a better angle here. There we go. He really doesn't have that much functionality or features other than the fact that, that he can roll, which is what most Minicons did. Let me see here. And also, you could um, use this neat little... In all honesty, I don't know how you would say that you would call this. It's a little, it's a little lever, so to speak, and you can just make the turret go like this as you can see here. So, very, very, very odd thing to do, and it really doesn't do that much, but this comes into place later with the uh, Transformers Cyclo with the uh, Cyclonus gimmick, and overall it's a weird little minicon, but it's actually modeled well in its vehicle mode, and transformation is very, very simple. You just unfold the legs and you turn them around, and that's about it, in all honesty. You can also put this uh, little turret down, though it can get in the way of his feet and block feet movement, and it's hard for him to stand up, as you can see here. Very hard. You pretty much have to have him leaning against this so that he can maintain balance, and it's also hard because I'm doing it on a bed, but even then, this is a hard mini con to balance. There we go. He's leaning a bit, but his legs are asymmetrical, so... While he's leaning, it doesn't exactly look like he's hunched over, but it would have been nice to see some more balance and make these legs thicker. <clears throat> and the way he transform he uh, goes into Cyclonus is simple. Simple but hard. Here we go. You lift the cockpit up. And let's see if I remember this. Huh. I think this is how it's supposed to go. Yeah. You get him like this, and then you're supposed to fit him on Cyclonus, though it's hard because the empty space here, this black space um, in, its ta in its tank wheels, are supposed to snap on to this little peg on Armada Cyclonus, but it's pretty hard to get both of them in. Usually you end up with just one fitting in and not the other. And the rudder, and the little rudder, the little lever, so to speak, goes into this hole. So let's see if we can do this. I may have to fast forward.
There we go. That was a nightmare. <laughs> Excuse me. And the result, when you put the thing in place, because the lever is now inside Cyclonus, although it's hard to notice, when you spin the propeller, the turret moves a little bit. Yeah, you can barely see it. Yeah, it's a pretty lame gimmick. But in the end, but actually at in the end, look at what this minicon does. It practically transforms Cyclonus into a simple helicopter with some weapons into a full-blown military helicopter. So while the gimmick is poor, this appearance is actually pretty good for Cyclonus. In fact, if you own this toy, it's probably better to leave the Minicon in Cyclonus when you leave him in his vehicle mode, because just look at that. He looks much better. He looks more ferocious. It's, and also, it's almost as if those black wheel, those black windows contain eyes. So this appearance is cool. And now, on to the transformation. We're going to pop this off. There we go. You unfold the legs and twist them. These guns, as I said before, become heels. Then you're going to take the chest of Cyclonus and pop it down if I can. Like that. So now you can see, and so that, now that creates a crotch, so to speak. And then you lift up his head. And that is about it. Also be a good idea to put the arms down and maybe we can get them like that. So in the end, this is a good robot mode. It's easy for him to balance. It's all, again, as I said before, the colors are good. His, um, while it's hard to see, his head is just right. It's got the right color of orange. It's got nice little green triangles for his eyes. In fact, he kind of has a nice look on his face like, Yeah, don't worry, I'm happy. I wouldn't hurt you at all. <laughs> The legs, um, the legs are stiff. The propeller, in the end, kind of pulls off a weird cape-like feel. It almost looks like he has a cape in the back, except it's a cape of a cape of spinning death, so to speak. <laughs> it's actually hard to get him in one full shot. The colors are also good, and now you have arms which have guns on them. But one downside is that you have to, yes, these are Minicon activated missiles, which I hate. Same problem with Armada, with Armada Sideways. These are missiles. You don't need any gimmicks to do them, so why do they use them? In all honesty, it's kind of, it's, they're using Minicons for Minicons sake, sake, like, here's what happened. They made Cyclonus, and then they realized, oh, we've only got one gimmick we can use with the Minicon. Let's make another one, and let's just make his missiles only only shoot fire if you use a Minicon. So it's kind of a lame brain move, but it's pretty simple here. You just press down, and you have to press down really hard. There we go, and it doesn't even have that great, great a range, so in the end, screw this gimmick. Just keep the missiles on Cyclonus, in all honesty. You can also put these down, if you like them like that, though it doesn't have that much of a difference, unlike his vehicle mode. And articulation is very stiff. They can go in and out sometimes, and they do go up and down, but that's about it. They don't really go horizontal. As you can see there. legs aren't much better. They can bend and go up and down, and that's about it. So you can do like a kick move. 
I just discovered that. Kick to the crotch. So that is actually pretty cool. I'll give a points for that. So, in the end, this robot mode is okay, I guess. It's great to look at, but it's not really fun to play with. The gimmicks are not that impressive, and if you actually put the Minicon back into Cyclonus... There we go. If you put the Minicon in Cyclonus, surprisingly, one impressive thing is that it doesn't really affect balance that much, but it just kind of looks odd and kind of dumb. Like, look at how much, look at how long his upper body is. I mean, my gosh. Though it still can be kind of enjoyable, because in the end, the the over-the-topness, so to speak, of this toy is what pulls it together. It's clunky, it has poor articulation, and really as a transformer, it doesn't work. But the over-the-top gimmicks and the, and the overall design and just the fact that it's Armada Cyclonus is fairly enjoyable. So if you like to look at a transformer or if you want to just, if you just love Armada Cyclonus, you want to get him, then you should consider this. However, as a Transformer as a whole, you should probably skip it. I just got this because I'm a fan of Armada and I want to display him in my Transformers vitrine. But if you want some good Transformers, he's not one of them. Final grade, as a showpiece, I would say he's an 8.3 out of 10. But as a toy itself, I would give him, say, hmm, a 6.5 out of 10. So... That's my review for Armada Cyclonus. I'll probably have some more reviewing Transformers in the future. I'll see you all later, and bye bye Support Cybertron. Subscribe.